Does it bother you that every day between 1,200 to 1,500 black babies are aborted? Every day. It doesn't because that doesn't I don't bother abort you either. babies. No, it doesn't. Do you consider yourself a feminist? Uh, yes, I'm a feminist. No wonder you didn't know what a man was. <laughs> that is a well, shame, well, man. Well, so. <laughs> <laughs>Guys, welcome back to our channel. Um, so we got an um, email from a guy. I'm a, I don't want to butcher your name, so I'm not going. I'm not going to say your name. <laughs> I saw the last part said Gerald, and he says very nice things to us. He said we're amazing, Kara. Thank you. We are amazing. Okay, <laughs> thank you. Um, he says from a young African man in Africa. Um, I'm learning a lot from you. Uh, keep continuing God's work and great reactions um, for the last video, like always. Can you react to a video on Jesse Lee Peterson debating with a doctor performing abortions? He says in parentheses, I try to comment on your channel, but I, I get constantly blocked by YouTube. So that's why I write, I'm writing you here. I hope you'll, you understand. Yeah, unfortunately yeah. guys, YouTube doesn't like conservative yeah. voices. <laughs> I'm here to tell you right now, we don't care. Let me tell you. Right, let me tell you. <laughs> we don't care. It so, happens. It know, happens. Conservatives, um, we just get the shaft in yeah. this part. But, you know, it, it is what it is. You, you got, got the message across. You got the and message across and we got it. And we're doing the video. So it is what it is. Okay, Jesse Lee Peter Peterson. Um, you know, you guys, we have a playlist <laughs> at this point with Jesse Lee Peterson kind of reactions and things. So if you guys, I'll put it above if you guys want to see that. Um, his, I don't always agree with him, but. He is entertaining to me. He's so, very entertaining, so. but it just has And he is right a lot, lot of times, times you know. A lot of things. So however you feel about this man, he actually says some very really, um, right things. Um, so this is about the abortion thing. Um, so let's go. Let's see. Let's see this. Oh, she already looks like a mess. Um, I've got a lot of family here, some of whom are here in the audience tonight. Um, I also had my first abortion at the Seattle Planned Parenthood. Yay! <laughs> Notice I said first, <laughs> if I could Yelp review it, <laughs> I totally would. Uh, yes, mm -hmm. I had abortion in Seattle. Abortion is still one of the most divisive issues in America today. I have with me Dr. Willie Parker, an OBGYN specializing in abortions. He's also the author of Life's Work, A More Argument for Choice. Dr. Parker has been featured in Esquire, NPR, New York Times, Rolling Stone, Newsweek, and more. Thank you so much for being here. My pleasure. What made you decide, you know what? I'm gonna do abortions. Somebody once said, when you wrestle with your conscience and you lose, you actually win. The reality is that one in three women in this country by the time they're age 45 will have an abortion. Amazing. And it's the most common uh, health care procedure that is offered. It's also one of the safest, but it's also one of the most controversial because it is a decision that is unique to women. My awareness as a... Health care procedure. This is, a, this is a play on words. This is like word deception. Yeah. They're calling abortion, they're putting it in the health care category. Okay, that's just to make you think of health. Get abortions, it's healthy. Physician of what happens to women when that care is not available uh, convicted me around uh, what it meant to be a woman's health care provider and to be a Christian, which ultimately led me to conclude that there was nothing doctrinally or specific about abortion in sacred texts, whichever one you're talking about, nor was there anything that prohibited women from having control over their lives and their bodies to make the same decisions that men are entitled to make as moral agents. That's amazing. Um, how is abortion a health care procedure? So when uh, a woman has a pregnancy that uh, affects her health or that she decides to end, if she doesn't have an opportunity to end it safely, anything that risks or ends your, uh, that uh, poses a risk to your health is a health care issue. I mean, it's a health care issue for the baby, the unborn child, and that you're killing the baby. Baby is a cultural term, it's not a scientific or a medical term, and you're not a baby before you're born. Because of our laws, you're not entitled to block a woman from having an abortion, or you're not entitled to force a woman to agree with your but definition. But aren't you taking a life? 
I disagree with you. I well, understand you are what you're killing, saying. You are killing an unborn child, right? Uh, I'm not killing an unborn child. You're taking I'm the life of an unborn child. I'm ending a pregnancy. But does that require you to take the life of the child that's in the woman's womb? I don't define a pregnancy as a child. And I'm, like does I said. Does it have a life? Uh, is it a living? It is a living entity. It right. is a life. It so is a t- human being because women don't have puppies. So, but it is not a baby. And if it were a baby, it would be a person, correct? So well, let me is, let me finish. So the reality let, is, you are taking a life. So is that do, true you, or not? do do you want to have a dialogue, yeah, or do you want you want to you want to let me ask answer your question, or do you want to answer my question? Answer the so, question about okay. are you taking a life? Okay. Yes, an abortion ends a life. If you call the police, will they come and arrest me? That still doesn't take away the fact that you're taking a life. Is it That's possible you could be wrong now? And yes, it is. Oh, okay. Is, is it possible that you could be wrong? No. You can't imagine how you could possibly be wrong, and I question myself all the time. Voltaire I said would, that. I would if I were you. I, I, Let me do this. Have you ever changed your mind about anything? I have. Okay. That's why I'm glad that you're at least thinking about what the way you feel about Christianity and abortion now and sin and all that, because you are wrong, and by okay. you thinking about it, maybe you get back on the right track. This isn't about, you didn't invite me. I mean, the devil is a liar. <laughs> I mean, this is the devil. I mean, he's this just is, sitting this here. The Christian. Just, I mean, he's well, a Christian. Well, okay. You know ahead. what I mean? It's just like, this is this is a sad turn of events here. And look at him, trying to make it right in yeah, himself. Yeah, state his, state his case. Forget about treating oh girls abstinence. Or, yeah. you, know, tra- ta- you know, talking to girls about yeah. saving themselves yeah. for their husband. Forget about all that. You know, um, that doesn't matter yeah. anymore. Yeah, forget, forget You know what I mean? Forget Let's that. just uh, let these girls listen to Cardi B get knocked up, and mm-hmm. then they can just go get their abortion. Yeah. From the, <laughs> from the many Planned Parenthoods that are in black across communities. the black community. I'm here at York. At, <clears throat> I came here at your invitation without knowing anything about who you are and what your agenda is. And I didn't come here to have you openly scrutinize what you think my moral compass is. If you want to talk about abortion, if you want to talk about the right of women, let if me, you don't want to talk about that, we can end the interview, and I'm happy let to me have had this opportunity. Let me just this, and then we'll move on. Do you believe that there's good and evil? I absolutely do. You do, okay. And is it good to perform abortions or evil? It's good to perform abortions when women seek them and they need them and they ask me to do it and I'm trained to do it and I provide it for them. Yes, it is, is it good, good to provide it for the for unborn child. Uh, I don't know what an unborn child is. I know what a fetus is. I know what when you give birth, is you become a child. Is it good or evil for I know the how fetus? To end the person. Uh, is it good or evil for the fetus? Uh, um, I don't. I don't. Re- I don't relate to life in terms of absolute good and evil. So. Do you believe that there's good and evil? I absolutely do. You do. Okay. I don't. I don't, re- I don't relate to life in terms of absolute good and evil, so. Does it bother you that it might be evil to the fetus? It doesn't bother me at all, because Amazing. a fetus can't be more important than the woman carrying it. Get back to this, that's ridiculous. Right, okay, uh, it's ridiculous because you don't agree with it, and that's fine. That's if that's your do you, metric, who, do you, everything I might say might be ridiculous to you, because maybe it's perplexing to you that people think for themselves. No, it's but, not perplexing. But, but it is, and You're because, not thinking for yourself. Okay, well, I'm not thinking the way you think you I think. You are not thinking for okay, yourself. Well, I'll accept One that. thing I know for sure, okay. and without a doubt, uh-huh. there's some things I'm not sure about, but the one thing I am sure about, uh-huh. you're not thinking for yourself. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, how many abortions have you uh, performed in your career? As many as necessary. And how many is that? What difference does it make if it's 1,000 or 100,000? Well, you don't think that would make a difference? Okay, what difference does it make? Oh, let me ask, how, how many months do you do it at the ninth month if well, the woman wants it? No, that's not legal. Where and do you, that, if it were legal, I, I, would you do it? Uh, well, I don't answer hypotheticals because to talk about an unborn pregnancy as a baby is very inflammatory. Stages of development matter. If you say that a baby and a fetus are the same, it's like saying also an oak tree and an acorn are the same. Is it the same if you step on an acorn and as you chop down a hundred year old oak tree? It is not. And that's why as so that, he's, that's crazy. Well, also he's being he's being um uh, he's being vague and evasive. The baby and a fetus are the same. Yes. You can't be a baby yeah. without being a fetus. Yeah. That, you that, can't right? just skip over that step. So a baby that is a baby. You were once a fetus. So were you, and so was and he. look at us. You can't sure. be a you can't be a baby unless you are a fetus. Right. And he's he, acting like it's two yeah, different. He's acting yeah. like it's it's two things. You you either pregnant with a fetus or pregnant with a baby. Mm-hmm. Like Jesse we said, kill the yeah, right. right. <laughs> and like Jesse said, he's not thinking for himself. This this guy is okay. 
This is a propaganda machine. Yeah, this is well, a trained you can't position. compare an acorn, acorn to a baby, I, well, a human being. Don't get lost in the analogy. That, the but ability that's to not think very, an acrylic. That's not very nice. So I want to know, once you pull this baby out of the womb. I don't after pull you, babies out of the womb. After you kill the baby inside the I womb. I don't kill babies. And you suck it out, however I, you get I it I out. I remove pregnancies by standard medical techniques. And when you and see And when at 88, at, at 12 weeks, that is a suction procedure. And when you now, see you that child, about, yes, when you see that child, does it bother you at all? It doesn't bother me at all to end a pregnancy that a woman doesn't want because the woman who comes to me is my patient. The woman that's killing it, having her child killed on, in her womb, does she give that child life? Do, no, nobody gives anybody life. So life what, is a process. So we all she, participate in the process of reproduction. So she doesn't give life. What gives her the right to take her life? Okay, nobody gave her life. She can't give life. We all are So here. what gives her the right to take her well, life? Well, you know. So by the... By is the, there any process, by, if you wanted to have your gallbladder taken out, would anybody question you? Do you have to get anybody's permission to have anything done in your body? A gallbladder and a baby is not the same. Well, a gallbladder is in your body I'm and making, a fetus is in her body. I'm making the choice about the gallbladder or the gallbladder has some problems in making the... Pre and, so, a, and women do the same thing about pregnancies. A woman who kills her children on okay. the inside is making the decision okay. about another human okay. being's okay. life. I'm, so, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to argue with you. If wanna, you want to have a, I, I've never walked out of an interview, but if you want to have a meaningful conversation, ask me some meaningful questions, okay, otherwise this interview is over. And here comes the threat of leaving. This is always happens with Jesse, is that when they're backed into a, a corner of having to tell, um, like blatant truths about what they're actually doing, mm -hmm. they go with the big threat. Either it's mm -hmm. name calling, we all know that, and then it's the threat of leaving. And here he goes. Yeah. I've never walked out in an interview. Because you're going to walk Because what if you just walk in and say, well, because abortion is just a, a, a term to use so that women feel good about what they're doing. But if we just said, you're going to murder your baby today, yeah. you just come to this room. Yeah. Women wouldn't do it. Think about because what, the, Because yeah. words matter. Yeah. So the way you say something you know. really matters. That's you why know. he's being careful with his. Yeah. But if you say abortion, mm -hmm. that makes it feel clinical. Yeah. It makes you feel detached from it. Mm -hmm. And that it's not real. Yeah. And that's why a lot of women can do it. Because yeah. they feel like... You know, um, it's mm -hmm. not a real thing. And men like him and people like him will uh, will always make it seem like a fetus is not, uh, like it doesn't have a heartbeat. Yeah. And like it doesn't right. have fingernails. Mm -hmm. And like it doesn't have, like all of that. They, they want to detach you from that so you can do that. You know, Sherry Shepard, when she was on The View, mm -hmm. you know, she's a big time liberal. But there was this one point, I think when Elizabeth Hasselbeck was on the show, mm -hmm. when they were talking about abortion. And Sherry, for some weird reason, jumped out because she had an abortion. Mm -hmm. And she said... But you know, when I went to the, uh, she said, when I went to Planned Parenthood, they were trying to make me have it. She was having second thoughts. Mm -hmm. And she said that they, they encourage you. Mm -hmm. Obviously, we're pro, joy, uh, pro uh, life. Um, but, you know, like, I, I don't, I'm not condemning people who've had abortions, um, but I do feel like people who use them as birth control, which is mm -hmm. what we're seeing more of. See, people always want to use the argument of the incest um, rate, mm -hmm. those two are the big ones, right? Mm -hmm. um, but while very tragic, those are the very, very small of the actual percentage. Ninety-nine percent of women are people who are just running control. <laughs>but the thing is is there is so much birth control out here and so you tell me mm -hmm. that you didn't want to pick up any of that no before you lay down mm -mm. with someone that you weren't married to right you know what i mean it's just like come on you know yeah. stop it why don't we start teaching people about sexual responsibility right uh, but i thought the whole conversation had been meaningful so far uh no because i haven't really you haven't asked you have you have asked me questions that prompted me to answer in a certain way, and then you've offered your critique. Everything has been about what's your impression of you about who me. I am and what I do. You asked right? me. Right, I ask you, because I'm still trying to figure out what and the point of this is. Okay. I don't complain, because <laughs> I have the power of exit. I can walk out of here any moment that I want. Oh, let me ask. I'm, in I'm, t I'm indulging you. You are the physician plaintiff in a federal lawsuit 
uh, preventing the closing of a Mississippi only abortion clinic. Correct. Is that true? You know, I protest. I went down to Mississippi and protest that yeah. clinic. We've been fighting to get that clinic closed for yeah, a long time. That's important. That's unfortunate. It's going to happen. Because you are indifferent it's to what that means that's to the women, right? I'm sorry? There are actually seven states where there's only one clinic. You're going to go to each state to protest where there's one clinic left? Don't give me an idea. Yeah. <laughs> the father have a say-so about oh, his child? Uh, should the father have the say-so over a, a process that's going on in a woman's body? No. Is that his child in the woman's body? Uh, a pregnancy by a, when a woman is carrying a pregnancy, whoever she decides the, the, the paternity is related to, and if they have the kind of relationship where she wants to have that, a woman doesn't have to relinquish control of her body to anyone. Is that his child inside of her body? Is, I guess it depends on what state you're in, right? Is that uh, his child inside the woman's oh, body? Uh, yeah, no, because a woman doesn't have property. <laughs> you didn't really right? say no. No, it's not his child. It's if they continue that pregnancy. Well, how her, is her child, child Do you see how they try to eliminate men altogether too? But this is another problem with this, mm -hmm. is that the, the elimination of a man's thoughts, what's, I mean, so forget yeah. it, no, no, no matter what he so thinks. So if she eliminates the child, then, you know, if it's he, not doesn't, his he, child, doesn't to, he doesn't have to, he doesn't have a say in, in being able to keep his child. Yeah. But if he has the child, yeah. she has a child, then he has to pay child support. So he doesn't get to walk away yeah. and say, I didn't want the child. I told her that. Yeah. You know, he doesn't. I mean, it's a lot. Make, <laughs> you know what I mean? See, see how this is just, and the yeah. mental gymnastics that yeah. this man has to do to pretend like this isn't yeah. a, a baby. I'm exhausted watching him trying to get this out. Child, right? How it, is it her child? It's, it, it's when she gives birth. Well, I, as I said to you, uh, when you that, really said no, it's not I his said, child. It's not at night as a property as he has some claim over his You put all that extra stuff onto it. Okay. You just said no, it's not his child. It's not his child. It's their well, child. child is it? It's their child if because, they are, have a joint but should, uh, enterprise, right? Should he have a say so in that? Uh, not unless he can take all the risks that go with continuing to practice. No. It's amazing, man. Okay. Does it bother you that every day between 1,200 to 1,500 black babies are aborted? Every day. It doesn't because that doesn't I don't bother abort you either. babies. No, it doesn't. So as a doctor, did you make more money before you start performing abortions or after you start? What to difference perform would it abortions? make? I'm a board certified obstetrician gynecologist. Do you make more money? What's did your you, point? Do you make more money? Did you start making more money before you started to perform I make abortions? More money after, after? I make more money. I like make less money than I could make. I make enough money to take care of myself. But so what you start difference to make, does it make? Did you start making more money after you started to what perform abortion? What difference does it make how much money I make? It's important because that might be my, your motivation. Well, right. whatever my motivation is, if I, may, if I get paid for the services I provide, I'm entitled to get so paid. So when did you start making more money? My, I mean, why, making money why before does that matter? after. I'm a private citizen. I don't have to answer to you about what my finances are. And how not? much money do you make? I didn't ask you how much. I tell asked me. you when did you which, tell me. when did you start making more money tell, after you started me, performing me. abortions tell or me. after? Tell me how much you make and I'll tell you. I then if you tell me how much you make and then I can tell you because I, I know what I was making before and after. If you tell me how much you make, I can tell you I was making more money than you do before or after. So that's my answer to you. Let me what? ask, uh, what is a man? What is it? Yeah, what is a man? What is a man? You don't know? Uh, do you? D do you know what a man is? Uh, are you one? Do you know what a man is? Are you a is? man? Is that your, your are you, response I'm, to me? Are you, are you a man? So that's your response I'm to me? I'm asking you. Ask, you ask me and then I'll answer you. No, I'm asking I'm, you what is a I'm man? A, I'm a, are you a man? So what is love? What, what, what is a man? What is love? What is it? <laughs> what are you doing? You're not going to answer the question. Oh, I'll answer your you question. You're my guy. I, uh, you're the expert. My, my, you're the doctor. What, uh, you're, you're supposed but to be it's your answering interview. these questions. Well, if what you tell me what you, you tell me what a man is, and then I can tell you whether I believe that a man is what you think it is or whether it's not. Do you know what it is? I, I do. What is it? Uh, what is you, uh, tell me your definition, I'll tell you if I agree with you. Le you're, you're not going to answer that because uh -huh. we're running out of time and you're wasting uh -huh. my time. So you uh -huh. don't know what a man is? I do. What is a man? What kind of test is this? What is a man? What is a man? Apparently you don't know what a man is. So let me okay. ask, okay. do you love black people? I love all people. And what is love? What is love? Are you, are you not going to say that either? Uh, well, see, you're asking me rhetorical questions, and I'm returning your rhetorical question, and then you don't like a rhetorical question, but you want me to answer one. Do you love the unborn child? He, he's so defensive mm -hmm. that he can't even, he's not even making any sense. He's so 
he's triggered by Jesse. Jesse's an expert at interviewing at this point, obviously. He's, he's really good at triggering people. He's very but good. But he's so afraid to answer any normal question yeah. because he's afraid of Jesse's interviewing skills. Yeah. <laughs> he's afraid that he's going right. to say it and then Jesse's going to make him look like a buffoon. And he which will. isn't hard to do because he this is a buffoon. This is a, a real buffoon. You're going to hear a buffoon right here, You know, guys. and he just, look, he's all, he's, he's all almost out of his seat. Yeah, he's so he's mad. Upset. Jesse's just relaxed. Look at the, in his chair. Yeah. I mean, the energy between the two men at this yeah. point is just like, this guy looks like he's about to lose his mind. And Jesse Lee Peterson has not really shifted, changed, mm -hmm. or anything the entire time he's been talking. And this is the kind of joker people listen to when they talk about abortion. He's yeah. making some money off this, and, yeah. and, and that's why he don't want to talk about his finances. Yeah. Oh, I don't want to know what the he's gonna, yeah. He's going to skirt around the all... Um, just the people like him do this. They skirt around all the all the uh, questions. I love people. How about the unborn child? Unborn children aren't people. I don't know what an unborn child is. I know what a fetus is. I love, know what a pregnancy is, but I don't know what... Do you love the fetus? A, uh, I, love, I love women and their pregnancies. If a woman's carrying a fetus and she wants to continue... I love and will support her ability to support that. If a woman's pregnant and is carrying a fetus and she no longer wishes to compare, care that pregnancy, I love her enough to help her accomplish her goal safely. Amazing. This past June... But let me you, ask you a question. How, do you, how can you say you love a pregnancy more than you love the woman carrying it? I love both. Okay. So when it's not in the best interest of a woman to continue a pregnancy, how can you prioritize the fetus over the woman who's carrying the pregnancy? Because the child has a, uh, should have a chance to live what about as well. A, what about a female child who's carrying a child? What, does a woman have a right to, to thrive? She has a right, and so does the unborn child. Okay, and so when those interests are competing, whose interests They're are They're not important? competing. Uh, are you only, a doctor? Only, are you a doctor? In, only in the ego mind of doctor? the selfish woman that want to uh, kill uh, the uh, child. So see what he did there? He asked them a question, and when he answered truthfully, yeah. then he telling me, you're, you're, oh, so you're a doctor? You're yeah, asking yeah. me a question knowing I'm not a doctor. Yeah. Are you only, a doctor? Only, are you a doctor? In, only in the ego mind of doctor? the selfish woman that want to kill uh, uh, the uh, child. Uh, so a you woman, don't have to be a doctor uh, to know that, man. This past June, you, you were interviewed as part of a... Shout Your Abortion event in mm -hmm. Seattle. Mm -hmm. uh, what is Shout Your Abortion? Shout Your Abortion is an effort by women to reject the stigma and shame that people who feel like they are able to tell women what to do with their bodies and that they, because they can't physically prohibit them, that they try and shame them away from making their own decisions. They've decided to not stand in the shadows, just like... So it's just like, uh, it's like the slut walk for a yeah. woman who want to have yeah. an abortion. This is, this is a slut walk for abortion. It's slut walk for abortion, women who want to have an abortion. <laughs> and so they're trying to take the shame out of killing the unborn child. Well, you, you can frame it however you want. I went down at a slut walk down in okay. Los Angeles last Sunday. Mm -hmm. And they're trying to take the shame out of being sluts. Okay. Well, Why yeah. do they want to take the well, shame out they of it? They want, they want to take the shame out of being sluts the same way people try to take the sting out of folk calling them niggers, right? Amazing. Uh, amazing. What's so amazing about people <laughs> when people call you names beyond <laughs> your... Uh, when people call you names that are intended to disparage or to embarrass or to harm you, when you can't change your name, maybe you can change the meaning of the word. And so maybe people they are trying to use... calling you a name and have an abortion or being... Uh, perceive, want to be perceived as a slut is not the same thing. But let okay. me, I saw a video of you there and you were on stage with an actress by the name of Martha Plimpton oh, and she was cheering on, yes, mm -hmm. I had a boy in Seattle. Yep. And, uh, you're not the only place I've had this abortion. Yep. And she, uh, she said uh, she wanted to yelp review of it, of her abortion. Uh, what was, was going through your mind she was a comedian and when, she this, was, woman, uh, she when was, this woman she was, was sitting there celebrating killing her unborn children? What was going through my mind was she was telling people who think like you that I don't really care what you think of me. And then the same way that black people had to tell white people when they called us niggers and they said that, you know, you know, somebody with your color skin can't become a physician. She was telling them, I don't really care what you think about me. And I support anybody who finds enough self-dignity self and self-love to say to folk who judge and to stigmatize and to shame them that I don't really care what you think about me. Uh, you're judging the people who disagree with you about what you're doing. No, I don't, no, I don't, I don't yes, judge. Yes, you are. You're I judging them. Well, well, no, no. Well, I, yes. I came on your show in good faith. I didn't Google you. I don't know anything about you. 
I walked into a situation where I didn't know that you were going to be hostile, or I'm I thought this was going to be. Uh, I'm not being hostile. Uh, 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 I thought you this was going to be. You don't want to act hostile. Well, well, no, I'm you being threatened to leave. Uh, well, and uh, yeah, carry I'm, uh, well, you know, the reason I you threatened to leave because I, I, I threatened to leave because you I don't being have to hostile. be. Let me, let me ask. <laughs> you received that Margaret Singer Award from Planned Parenthood. Is that I right? did. Amazing. What's amazing about that? Because Planned Parenthood is wicked to the okay, core. Okay. They sold the unborn child body parts for okay. profit. Are you uh, okay a, with it's, that? It's, it's a shame that you are sitting here. Are you okay uh, with that? Repeating falsehoods. You're. I, I'm not respectfully. I'm not calling you a liar, but you're repeating lies. You're repeating lies. Okay, well, okay. Everything about that, those videos that were workshopped and created have been debunked. The people who made them are about to go to jail and. Some so when he started talking about the selling of the baby parts, his head went down yeah. immediately. And for a few seconds or maybe a minute or so, he talked to Jesse with his head down. So this particular part is very true, even you could tell. Mm -hmm. His body language is showing mm -hmm. that what he just brought up is accurate. Yeah, and Margaret, he can't even look at him. Margaret Sanger was into eugenics. Yes, she was. And eliminating the black folks. Yeah. And that's why so many... Uh, so, Planned yeah. Parenthoods are sitting in black communities right now. Which is very ironic that he keeps bringing up the race thing, <laughs> right? When we know where Planned Parenthood started from a racist. Again, uh, <laughs> black people, we have a hard time knowing our, our yeah. history. Yeah. And so, then when we don't know our history, we look like fools, mm -hmm. like this guy, yeah. talking about uh, abortions and, and knowing that the person who was really a part of starting this abortion thing in America, who's also mm -hmm. connected to the Nazis, mm -hmm. by the way, yeah. because they want to figure out a way to eliminate Jews, yeah. um, they decided to do it to the black people in America. Yeah. And uh, it's worked yeah. because uh, I think we have the highest number yeah. of abortion. Yeah. In New York, there are more babies um, aborted mm -hmm. than there are born. Yeah. That's More true. black babies are, bo are, are boarded in, in New York than there are born. That's sad. And somehow you, no as a journalist to... and as a published author, it I would give you the... It has not been debunked. That's not true. Well, it's been debunked. You're not telling the well, truth. Yeah. That's why you're looking down at well, the floor. Well, I'm looking down because I'm thinking because and I'm you talking don't about... want me to see you're not telling the oh, truth. Oh, I'm telling the truth. I that can look you in That has not been debunked. Yeah. Well, how why many plan how that? many Planned Parenthoods have been no, closed? No, why are you saying I'm that? I'm saying it is not that true. I'm saying that no, not one Planned Parenthood has been closed, despite all of the government scrutiny where they went in and checked and looked for everything. Not one Planned Parenthood has been closed. Not one person's been indicted. Not one person's gone to jail. Do you consider yourself a feminist? Uh, yes, I'm a feminist. No wonder you didn't know what a man was. <laughs> that is a oh, shame, oh, man. Oh. So my final question for you. Yes, sir. Did you have fun? Uh, you write up my case, but you know, I am a, I am, I believe in honest disagreements, uh, and you know, even though it got tense, uh, I, I enjoyed tense. the you dialogue. Well, yeah. okay, Jesse never disappoints. That's where he just never disappoints. He never does. So yeah, Jesse's right. I was funny that he said that right after we were. Yeah. It, it, when he put his head down, started talking about the baby stuff, baby Can't parts. Even look at, you know, I mean, lying, and lying, I'm telling you. Gotta take the devil on sometimes. Yeah, <laughs> and this this guy is a joke. He's getting defeated. Yes, he was getting he's a defeated. Joke. You know, yeah. they got this abortion talk all tied into women um, advancing in careers. Yeah, you know, oh if I if I don't if I don't get this abortion, I can't get to go to a oh, big yeah, college. True. I can't go to this. Yeah, I can't be mm. a feminist. It messes up it my it messes up my chances yeah. of being successful. <laughs> you know what? When you're pregnant, you need wow. to be a mother. Right. That's it. Okay. No one told you to lay down and have sex with somebody that you weren't willing to have a child with. No right. one told you to do that. With all the with all of the birth control that's out mm -hmm. there, you could have chosen. Mm -hmm. You didn't do it. And even if the birth control don't work, you don't, you have no right killing a, mm -hmm. a, a living thing just because, a, a baby, just because it's inconvenient to yeah. you. No, I think that the stats on the um, rape and incest... I think that the stats on that is like 1%. Yeah, I, think low. I think it's like 1% or 2%. I'll double check. But I think it's 1% or 2% of um, abortion cases mm -hmm. are due to rape and, and incest. And right? there are several cases where women have been raped and gotten and, pregnant. And, and, and they want to keep, they don't want to yeah. keep, they give their baby up for adoption, but they, they still believe. Yeah. Even incest. Yeah. They still believe that this, we're not going to punish the child mm -hmm. for the sins of the father. Right. So, I mean, but. But the argument that the left and liberals will put up with this whole abortion thing is always the rape and incest. They bank on the rape and incest part. Even if you were to give the, I guess you say a pass, to people uh, that are 
victims of rape or incest, um, that is still only 1% or 2%. So what are we doing about the um, upper 90 percentile of the, of the abortions that happen from negligence mm -hmm. and certain choice? The choices you made as a woman to lay down um, with men. Let it be a mistake or not, it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. But it is a choice. Mistakes are choices, by the way. You just made the mistake, you know? So you can't just bank on just that 1% or 2%. We need to talk about the mm -hmm. over 90% of women that are doing this as a birth control. When we have, like Kara said, um, different forms of actual birth control. And then also the biggest birth control of all, which would be not having sex at all. Yeah. Until you're married. You know what I mean? Then you won't have to do slut walks. Yeah. And you won't have to do any of this stuff because <laughs> right. your legs would have been closed. Right, exactly. And abortion activists, they like to they like to use the uh rape victim and the uh That's what I'm saying. The rape they victim and the um the um what is it? Incest. Yeah. Incest, incest as a pawn so that they can so they can have their uh procedure done. Mm -hmm. But what if we just went with that? What yeah. if we said That's only right. women that are raped and have incest? Yeah can have an abortion. Okay. And you know what they say? Well, that's not fair. Oh, that's not fair. Right. So it's not yeah. about those it's women. Not about those so women. stop including yeah. those women. Okay? So it's not about those women. It's your selfish reason. Mm -hmm. It's your selfish, you know, reasoning. Just so you mm -hmm. can go out and try to act like a man mm -hmm. and have sex with everybody you want. Mm -hmm. And then as soon as something happens where you have a child. It's an uh-oh moment. Uh-oh. What do I do now? That's why we're different. Yeah. And if we stop sleeping around, mm. then those men couldn't sleep around anyway. Yeah. Unless they want to have sex with each other. Women, con women control. If we understand that that is that women control, we control sex. Mm -hmm. Okay. We do. And if we control ourselves and don't just give ourselves up to every man or several men or you know whatever, then we wouldn't be in the position in the first place. Right. So you need to control yourself. And if you control yeah. your sex, because men control marriage. Mm -hmm. Then you're more likely to get married. Yeah. Because men want a more virginal yeah. woman as a wife. So I just think like like all of this is just um, like that man was ridiculous, mm -hmm. and I can't believe that this man puts his hands on any woman to mm -hmm. be doing an abortion. Yeah. He's in the mind of some woman that's this desperate mm -hmm. or feels desperate. You mm -hmm. know, um, what's the name? Jason Woodlock and a few conservative show do. Um, they um, give out a. Shout out to Preborn. Mm -hmm. So it's a it's a organization where if you pay twenty eight dollars, I guess, then you can um, let the mother hear the ultrasound because, mm -hmm. like you said, if the ba if a mother hears the 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 heartbeat, they're like eighty five percent more. Mm -hmm. You know, there's an eighty five percent more chance that they're not going to have an abortion. Right. And so this is the reason why they don't really want you to hear that. Yeah. They keep that away from. They them. keep you so separate from the baby mm -hmm. that's inside of you, and that's just really sad. Yeah. But you know, I don't. Because a lot of women that have abortions regret it mm -hmm. right afterwards. Yeah. Babies are yeah. more likely to... There's a waiting mm -hmm. line for babies. Yeah. For newborns. Right. For people to adopt newborns. It's the one, the kids, when they get older, mm -hmm. that's when there's the problem. Yeah. But infants, newborns, yeah. there's like a, a... I think they say for every person, one in a child, there's like uh, 25 people waiting for one baby. Yeah. You don't no have options. to just kill your child. You can actually give it to a family that, that they can give you a, give your child a life. Our argument of abortion doesn't hold water because when you're having abortions, we are now using that mm -hmm. as a birth control and that's not right. And the problem is just morals. We would stop having sex and start making families. Yeah. Then we would, you mean, you wouldn't mind having a child if you were married. Right. Most women are married and aren't having abortions. You know what I mean? It's That's these women rare. that are not married that are having abortions. You know what I mean? Yeah. If we stop selling mm -hmm. sex like it's like, mm -hmm. <laughs> like the hottest thing on the, you yeah, know, which you we know, do, which we, we, sell, do. It like we sell it too much. Mm -hmm. You know, if we stop making being a baby mama using words like baby mama and baby daddy like it's cool, and mm -hmm. then girls go out and do it, and my baby daddy, it's like you know what I mean, and this is my baby mama, yeah. and we make it you know cool and hip hop, and we you know what I mean. The, that's what's really wrong. Mm -hmm. It's not the baby. It's the way that we think. It's the culture. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, let's know what you guys think about this. Are you guys pro-life, pro-choice? What is your thoughts on this? Um, you know, do you agree with this doctor? Let us know. Please leave your comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. We would love that. And that's it. We will see you guys in the next video.